Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Thursday, October 15th, 2020. And here are some of today's trends in the news. Before we go into trends in the news, I'm going to tell you the big trends in the news. Censorship, right? Been writing about it. Could I tell you how long ago? It's one of our top trends for 2018. Censorship 2.0, how bad it was going to get. So here it is. I was censored on LinkedIn for writing this in response to someone that said something and I responded to them. We all must speak out or just keep bowing down, sucking up and taking orders from liars, cowards, freaks and fools who believe they have the power to rule us and destroy our lives and livelihoods. That's it. Your comment goes against our policy of bullying and harassment. It has been removed and only you can access it. Could you imagine that? I say that we should not bow down and suck up and take orders from liars, cowards, freaks and fools who believe they have the power to rule us and destroy our livelihoods and lives. So according to LinkedIn, you should follow Hitler. You should march to Mussolini. You should salute Stalin. And you should bow down and suck up to all the political scum around the world that are destroying liberty, love, joy, and beauty. Number two, check out our cover of this week's Trends Journal. Brainwashed with crap from LinkedIn. Your comment goes against our policy on bullying and harassment. It has been removed. Censorship by these little freaky geeks. Look at them. Zuckerberg. Cook. Gates, the clown from Google, one after another, not true men or women, robbing us of our freedom. And that's why we're asking you to do everything you can to support us, because they're going to take us down. And I'm speaking out for liberty, love, joy, and beauty, and I put my money where my mouth is. So do what you can or do nothing. And thank you, of course, for subscribing to the Trends Journal and keep it going and keep subscribing. And if you don't, please do. On the market front, stocks fell for a third day in a row on Thursday as hopes for a U.S. coronavirus stimulus deal continues to decrease while infections across Europe are on the rise. Infections, infections. How about death rates? So we put the thing in there. Infections, death rates. And again, you know the data we have in the Trends Journal from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. From the ages of 1 to 50, the recovery rate is 99.98% recovery rate. Infections don't mean you're going to die by the data. It means you're going to live. You never been in bed for a couple of months, weeks? I have. Hey, I've been in bed for a month. Getting the flu, getting very sick in the past. And don't worry about all those pesticides they put in our food 
Forget about the chemicals, the trillions of tons that they pump into our earth, our air, and our water. They're fine, you like them GMOs. I like those artificial flavors, those artificial colors, and all the other crap that they put into my food. But that virus will kill you. And that filthy air pollution, only what? 1.5 million die in China, 1.3 million die in India from it. Again, as infections across Europe are on the rise. Thursday's losses marked the straight daily decline of the major averages. You know, I said that I believe this month we could see the bear territory going down 20%. Sentiment was also dampened as some European governments reinstated pandemic restrictions to curb second wave. Everything they've done has been a failure. It's a fact, and they blame we the people for their failures. They didn't do anything in Sweden and a number of country, other countries, and it's life as usual. And again, all the data is there, who's dying and why, and I'm not gonna go into it. The Labor Department in the United States said there were 898,000 first-time filers for jobless benefits. It'll come back, it'll come back. Gold prices, eh, they went up a little bit because Trump is talking about maybe uh, doing that stimulus package, which I say he's going to do before the election. And also the job numbers show how weak the economy is, so the more cheap money that goes in, the lower the dollar goes, but the dollar's up because all the other economies are in lousy shape too. Oil prices slipped on Thursday as new restrictions to stem the surge of COVID-19 increased uncertainly over the outlook of economic growth and recovery in fuel demand. Again, everything they've done, all of these low-life, arrogant, narcissistic, psychopathic, pathological lying politicians have done has been a failure. The success is over in Florida and nobody wants to talk about it. There are about 15,000 dead, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, now we're in October. 15,000 dead in New York, the low life, arrogant little boy born on third base in 38-0 Rome run Cuomo, we got over 33,000 dead over here and we have a million and a half less people. And they're wide open, wide open. Sweden, wide open. Norway, Finland, Belarus, wide open, other countries. Africa, nobody talks about it. Anyway, jobless claims again, they're up. IMF warns global recovery could be permanently scarred. All right. We only said this how long ago? How long ago did we say this? I was the first to call this of any of the major outlets, anybody in the alternative field. I was out there first. If you show somebody else, let me know of the caliber that where I am and where the Trends Research Institute and the Trends Journal is. Look at the cover of our January 28th Trends Journal. Coronavirus, 106 dead in China, 1.4 billion still alive. Why are you telling me this stuff? We said how bad it was going to be. The greatest depression has begun. The very, very worst is yet to come. The purpose of this webinar that we're having next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time is to help you prepare for what's ahead that nobody else is going to be able to do. We saw it first, we know what's next. No one has a track record like we do of forecasting trends. And what I'm going to do is spend most of that time answering your questions to help you prepare and prevail for what's ahead. So sign up now, space is limited, and we're doing everything we can to help you. Look what's going on. Bank giants beat pandemic forecast. Isn't that great? 
Bank Giants win. Too big to fail. Bank Giants win. Here's the way they write it. J.P. Morgan post profits rise. Isn't that great? Goes on to say, while pandemic slams Main Street, big banks are taking it in stride. Isn't that nice? Shoving it up your new you-know-what, taking it in stride. And listen how the toilet paper record writes this. Hundreds of thousands of small businesses are closing for good. Temporary layoffs at larger companies are becoming permanent. But the country's largest banks, which together serve a majority of Americans through loans, credit cards, and deposit services, are not raising the alarm. They did away with the laws that prevented the banks to be the biggest. There were banks everywhere when I was a young guy, and now a few rule. Because of the low lives that are destroying our lives now are the same group from that same slimy line of scum that they come from. $110 million in penalty for price fix. Pilgrim's Pride, isn't that a great name? Pilgrim's Pride, you know what that is. That is bullshit! Yeah, even the Pilgrims would be turning in their grave. Pilgrim's Pride, I don't eat that stuff. Ain't pride to me, it's... bullshit Anyway, one of the largest poultry producers, because the slimy politicians let them take control of everything, so all we are are workers on their plantation of Slavelandia, said on Wednesday that it would pay $105 million to settle federal charges that had helped fix prices and then spread on the higher costs to consumers, restaurants, and isn't that great? Isn't that great? Nobody goes to jail. No, you do. Put on that mask. I'm de Blasio. I'm Cuomo. I'm a piece of crap. We'll find you and jail you. And your little dictator Andrews over there in, in Australia. Victoria, Victoria. What Victoria? Disgusting. But the big freaks get a free ride. Value of Chinese stocks top 10 trillion. Yeah, no kidding. How long did we say this? The 21st century is the Chinese century. Again, all the details are in your Trends Journal. 43% of the economists, economists don't see gain coming back, lost jobs until 2023. Remember they said there was going to be a V-shaped recovery? I said there wasn't going to be. And now, but listen to them, listen to them. Global public debt scene hitting a record. Huh. In 1989, with fewer than 100 employees, Businesses accounted for 40% of the workers employed in the U.S. By 2018, it has fallen to 33%. And now they're showing that one in five businesses that were open in January have stopped transacting entirely. This is according to Womply. Most of them have likely closed for good. But the bigs keep getting bigger. They keep robbing and stealing from us. Pilgrim's pride. Piece of crap. One after another. Well, a couple of weeks ago, the J.P. Morgan gang rigging the precious metals markets gets fined $900 million. Look what they're doing to us. Look how they're robbing us of our life and freedom. Look how they're taking over at every level. Do what you can to support us and sign up for that webinar next Wednesday, October 21st at 7 p.m. We're going to tell you how to beat what's ahead and the worst, the very worst, is yet to come. United Airlines prepares for long drought and air travel. Delta reports widening losses. Catch this line. This is from the CEO. The virus has had a much broader impact over the course of the year than any of us were suspecting. Not any of us. 
any of you. I said this was going to happen. I was the first in the whole economic world. It's in the Trends Journal. The facts are there. But they get away with this crap. They don't know what they're doing. Cinema giant AMC faces cash crunch. Let's see what they have over here. Attendance is down only 85%. One after another. New York retail spaces sell at discount. Renters flock to suburbia, upending an urbanization trend. Wall Street Journal. Yesterday's Wall Street Journal. We only said this in the Trends Journal in early March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October. But this is big news. This is big news. First lady confirms teenage son was infected. Baron Trump, the president's younger son, tested positive. I'm saying this because the reason tests are going up is all the kids going back to school in so many places are being forced to get tested and tested and over-tested and tested. That's why the test numbers are going up. The case numbers are going up because the test numbers are going up. What is the recovery rate from people of Barron's age, according to the Centers of Disease Control, and most of the students in college, only 99.997%. And they're locking down everything. And Trump said about his son, I don't even think he knew he had it. Because they're young, and their immune systems are strong, and they fight it off. I know. Governments across Europe are ratcheting up restrictions to try to beat back the resurgence of the coronavirus that has sent new confirmed infections on the continent to their highest weekly level since the start of the pandemic. Cases reported have jumped 34 percent. How many more tests? With the tests up 34 percent? With the tests up 95 percent? With the tests up 100 percent? Or with the tests down under 34 percent? No, we won't tell you, but we're testing everybody. London, Europe's richest city with 9 million people, was heading for tighter COVID restriction lockdowns at midnight on Friday. As Prime Minister Boris Johnson, there we go. Anger, though, is rising among economic, social, and health costs of the biggest curtailment of freedom since wartime, one former government advisor warned. The greatest curtailment of freedom since wartime. And that's what they've done to us. They've curtailed our freedoms. These are dictators. London will move to high alert levels from medium at midnight on Friday, quote, it is my expectation that the government will today announce that London will shortly be moving into tier two or a high alert level. That's the mayor. I must warn London, Londoners, we got a difficult winter ahead. He must warn. And then you got Health Secretary Matt Hancock. Matt Hancock. Or is it Matt Jerk Off? He'll address Parliament around he is expected to announce changes to the government patchwork to two to three tier local lockdowns. You know who this guy Hancock is? This guy's been sucking off the public tit his entire life. Never worked a day in his life. Been in the government. Health minister? As I said, Hancock. It's his perfect name. Wisconsin, ju Wisconsin judge halts restriction on bars. Yeah. Good for the people that are fighting back in very few states. And what else do we have here? U.S. business leaders warn of disruption in event of disputed vote. We said this was going to happen. 
Long lines of voters formed at 50 polling sites that opened in Chicago Wednesday. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. On-site election officials on the south side said the problems were out of their hands. One problem after another. This is all being reported. At this point, I believe that Trump has a good shot of winning the election, despite Biden way ahead of him in the polls. Again, we're writing about it, talking about it, and most importantly about it, you better be prepared for what's happening. We're having a webinar on Wednesday, October 21st, the greatest depression has become the worst. We haven't seen the worst yet. You, I put this data together. This thing's collapsing globally. So we're doing everything we can to help you. And please subscribe to the Trends Journal. We're in the fight for our lives. Thank you. This is Gerald Salenti. And that's some of today's Trends in the News. The COVID-19 war has changed the world. But who's prepared? What's next? It's in your Trends Journal. Trends Journal subscribers are prepared. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens. From the world leader in trend forecasting. The greatest depression has begun. The very, very worst has not even begun. This thing's going down big time and hard. The purpose of the webinar that we're having next Wednesday at 7 p.m. is to help you prepare and prevail for what's ahead. This is going to be like no one's ever seen in world history. And I was the first to predict this, to say what was going to happen, how bad it would be and where it's going. And the, most of this webinar is devoted to one thing, and that's helping you prepare for the future. We're going to have extensive question and answer session. I want to do everything I can, as does the Trends Journal team, to help you thrive and survive ahead. We're going to tell you what's going to go up and what's going to go down, and you know the end. Think for yourself. So please, sign up. We want to do everything we can to help you. Next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you.